Now, we want to get into some topics as well. We get a couple of minutes here, and uh, Mark Stiles, Stiles Law, Room 139 in Marshfield, and a question about where do I put my documents, Mark? Where do I keep my uh, state documents? You know, this is a great question, Rob, and, and we talk through this with folks when they're coming and uh, experiencing the estate planning uh, process and, and experience with us. But, you know, most folks are doing the trust planning, right? Trust, 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 mm -hmm. exactly what you want and think about that. So who are you trusting? Who are you going to have... Um, you know, taking care of all of your needs when you're incapable of doing that. But what do you do with those documents, right? So, you know, Ben at the at the team, team lead at the estate planning uh, division of Styles Law, says, you know, we got to keep you got to keep an electric copy, keep one stored on your own system, you know, encrypted, stored, thumb drive, whatever, keep it there. But more importantly, keep one with your financial advisor, an electronic version. A lot of the financial professionals have these. Uh, dashboard softwares that organize all of your various uh, finances, but also your various documents, right? So your power of attorney is readily available through these, you know, e-money or other type of platforms that the financial professionals help organize uh, their clients with. Make sure that they have one, but also make sure the original's in a fire safe. Ben always says that you want to have the original in a fire safe, and, you know, that's not a huge obstacle. Lowe's, Home Depot, get a fire safe, throw it in there, lock it up, and even if there's a fire, that document will be there. But most importantly, the, the most important thing is uh, to tell your family exactly where those documents are. But more, more than that, tell them what's in the documents. You know, there's a lot of people who want to hold back information and not be super transparent with their family, but let them know in advance what to expect. Manage those expectations. Be proactive, right? So sit them down. Let them know exactly what your plans are so that there's no question about it. You know, a, a proper trust plan has no question about it, right? They're very clear, but to hear it from the people, like it's not an easy conversation, but to sit down with your family and say, this is what we're doing and here's what we have, right? A lot of people get uncomfortable around money, but it's really important for everyone to understand. and. You know, what we l enjoy so much is the lifetime giving programs, and a lot of the financial professionals are with us on this, where it allows the person to gift out money while they're alive, as opposed to waiting until they've passed on and knowing peacefully they've done something really nice for their family, but to be able to do it while they're alive and they, they can witness those vacations and those college plans and those things that will help folks out during their life, and they get to witness and and be part of that. Um, that's something that only can happen when you're sitting around the table and say, hey, these are our expectations. We're not just giving you this money. We, we really want to give you this for certain purposes. Like we want to see family vacations. We want to see Susie go to the college that she wants to go to. But let them know where those documents are. Let them know exactly um, what is going to happen. Because, you know, the book triggered me on the way in here listening to uh, the author of Drama Free, right? Yes. Probably an amazing book, right? I'm going to order it up if there's not an extra one here. And it's a good one to understand what you don't want to see happen, right? And how can you avoid that? One, read a book like that. But two, sit down and be transparent and open with your family and let them know this is what the deal is so that, you know, later on down the line, you can't look at your sibling and say, that's not what mom and dad said. Mm -hmm. You know, it's important. And it, and again, when we're being proactive and we're doing planning, we're attempting to f keep folks from the court system, right? And probate court is real. It's a real court. It's there for a reason to help settle disputes. But maybe there doesn't need to be that if it's properly planned. Mark Stiles, Stiles Law, Route 139 in Marshfield, styles-law.com. Get in touch with his great team. And, Mark, how do we do that? Best way is phone, Rob, 781-319-1900, uh, 781-319-1900. But tell them that you heard us on the radio at WATD. And um, that we would really appreciate knowing that. And we'll get you in touch with the proper planners, whether it's for real estate planning or estate planning. Love it. Mark Stiles, Stiles Law, Route 139, Marshfield. Brought a prop today, folks. Again, if you're watching him on Instagram, I guess you're seeing it for the radio, though. That is a cool... Uh, it's so cool. 
Yeah, what are you going to do with that now? So I have one from last year, too. You're going to get a bunch of more? Too. Well, last, oh, that's it. So <laughs> last year, I went to the very first annual. This is the second annual, and there was yeah. no sophomore slump. I mean, this okay. was like they they did it. You know, making a sequel to a movie sometimes doesn't work. This one worked, yeah. right? And it's going to keep going. So I, I'm looking forward to having 10 of these okay. and, and line them up and have some fun with it. I th I'm looking forward to that. It'll be great. We'll maybe do some lawn bowling this summer. All right, Styles Law. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Rob. Have a great week, everybody. Have a great week.